right, this today is September 11th. This is period one. Today we're going to do the parent graph of the quadratic function. Okay. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to So this f of x equals x squared is the parent graph or the parent equation of a quadratic function. Okay? What that means is that it's the simplest quadratic function we can have. So today we're going to look at the simplest one and then over the next week or so, maybe two weeks, we are going to take more complicated versions of a quadratic function and graph them. We're going to start by taking all of these numbers that are in the x column and then plugging them into this equation. All right, so I'm going to start with my negative 4. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to write this as y for now. We'll talk later about the symbology, what f of x means. Right now I'm just going to call it y. f of x and y are pretty much the same thing. So if I plug a negative 4 in where x is, what would y be? You're squaring it. Negative 4 to the power of 2 gives you positive 16. Good. <coughs> How about negative 3 squared? And 4. on your tables, go ahead and plot those points. You can't, you're not going to be able to do um, the, the negative 416 or the 416 because they're not going to fit on your graph, but you should be able to do the rest of them. Okay? I think I made my graph paper so big enough so I could, um, but you just do what will fit on your graph. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to connect these points in a smooth curve. So here's what this looks like. Oops. Oh, I'm hoping that you can draw that better than I did. Smart boards can be a little goofy sometimes. So that's supposed to be a smooth curve. It's going to go on forever to the right end up. It's going to go on forever to the left end up. Okay. Um, there is an imaginary vertical line in, that is going right where the y-axis is. And that's called the axis of symmetry. And from geometry, you talked about ax axes of, or axis of symmetry. And so what that means is for every point that's on this parabola, let's go with 2, 4. There is a reflection of that point exactly across this axis of symmetry. So if you were to fold your paper in half on the y-axis, this point here would exactly touch this point here. Okay? So the parabola... Okay, that's what we call this shape. The parabola is symmetric across its axis of symmetry. And that's all we need to know for today. We'll pick up more just on that tomorrow. Okay?